We made it, guys. I want to wish Lost Stories. Happy birthday to you. Let's hope this game lasts longer than Jazz's RE Code. Shouldn't be too hard. To celebrate this momentous occasion, Lost Stories is hosting an event complete with brand new characters. Let's go over them. Colin is a rank 4 strategy pilot, and that art is amazing. I mean, damn. They did a great job here. I knew Raksha had talent for fashion, but wow, the more you know, I guess. Side note. She looks way older than 17 or 18 here, more like in her mid-20s. Anyways, on deployment, Colin increases the action speed of Black Knight by 1.8 times their normal speed. Basically, doubling it. At the same time, all units within range will start recovering their health by 18% every second. Both of these effects last for 30 seconds. Colin doesn't have to be deployed for your units to recover health, much like Yuffie or New Year C2. Makes sense. Colin reduces the cost to place any Lelouch pilot by 4, and the redeployment time of all allies by 38.8%. That's insane! It sure is. To say that this pilot is... The GOAT! Would be an understatement. Colin speeds up all the Black Knight's units while recovering their health, essentially making Taizo... Pointless! Although you could use the two together. Colin's deployment time is 15 seconds, so you can stack the recovering health and speed effect since both of those last for 30 seconds. Did I mention that Colin costs 1 to play? and has solid stats given her overpowered abilities? She's the complete package. I got nothing else to say. Next! Lelouch is a rank 4 Annihilator pilot who is wearing an outfit that's a mix between Julius and Zero. I probably need to go through the story to understand why. The art is amazing regardless. Lelouch's abilities all happen when deployed. Every 20 seconds, for 20 seconds, he Precist. your ally's damage to pertain nightmare frames by 45%, almost doubling, much like Colin's action speed ability. Now, this new Lelouch and Colin are both part of the Black Knight's faction and this new faction for the first year anniversary, which means that they go together in more ways than one. Anyways, Lelouch's second ability deals 2% damage to all enemy nightmare frames every 0.5 seconds for 9 seconds. So this ability will trigger 4.5 times each time it activates. And if the enemies happen to be part of the Canyon Royal family, it will increase to 4% damage. By the way, this happens every 30 seconds after deployment, just like the last ability. I've got mixed feelings about this Lelouch. On one hand, he has high range attack and increases damage to all Britannian forces. The hardest enemies are Britannians, which makes the ability useful. The second effect is okay. I'll take passive damage any day of the week. But only increasing it for the royal family is too specific. I know it happens in the expedition and story chapters, which is obviously contrived for this character, but you're only gonna face the royal family as a boss during missions or as units in arena mode. But in arena mode, there are better ways to take out enemies. So not my favorite, but he's possible. Oh, and the Lush comes with his own nightmare frame, the second event exclusive nightmare frame. The Percival was the first. Not anymore. You can now summon Bradley. Seriously, please don't make more limited characters with exclusive nightmare frames in the future, boss battles or events like the Golan Sarlin are good enough. Okay, so what was I saying? All right, the Zero Kagerio, Kagerio, Zero Kagerio, whatever. The Zero Kagerio is a ranged nightmare frame which has some resemblance to the Shinkiro. It might have been the one that came before it. I honestly don't know. Its stats are. Fun. Fantastic. The special is excellent. It deals 3.7 times your attack power to three enemies in range and reduces their action speed by 0.725 times. I assume this is permanent and it doesn't stack. This nightmare frame is solid. I have no complaints aside from how you acquire it. And last, but certainly not least, Nagisa is a rank three healer type pilot. And of all the artworks, this is my favorite. Some people can't stand Nagisa and they're no friends of mine. I'm just kidding. But seriously though, she's adorable in this outfit and it pisses me off that Toto can't talk to her. Dude, what are you waiting for? What is it with Toto and not speaking up? First this, then turn 19. Sorry. I got sidetracked. Turn 19 is a completely different topic. Anyways, Nagisa recovers 27.5% of two allies in range for every fixed and attack defense value, and reduces Toto's placement cost and every unit in the first year anniversary, including herself, by four. Like the other Nagisa healer pilot, her stats are perfectly balanced, as all things should be.
On first glance, Akisa seems pretty average to me. But she's another easy, accessible Black Knight healer who reduces the cost of place total. During the faction wars, or if you simply just want to stick to the Black Knight faction, she will help out. Because her ability to reduce the cost of Lelouch and Colin will help out tremendously for the Black Knights, and reducing the cost of place total is a nice added benefit. Don't underestimate Nagisa's beauty or her abilities. Because I promise you, you will regret it. Happy birthday to Lost Stories. It's crazy that it's been a year. I am getting old. We're getting so close to the global release of this game. Make sure to subscribe so you get delays on that and everything else Lost Stories related. I'd like to propose a request to Kyoshiro Toto that... Ogi, did you oversleep again? Too slow. 